In his essay, Did the Puritans Have Fun?, Bruce Daniel states, quote, For over four centuries, Puritan has been a synonym for dour, joyless, repressed behavior. Few historical concepts have proven so strong, from the literature of Elizabethan England to the critics of the moral majority in the 1980s, the image of the Puritan as a killjoy, as a doer, end quote. This perception can probably be attributed to a wider attack in Puritans in on Puritans in general, with 19th century writer signatures Nathaniel Hawthorne and H.L. Mencken leading the charge to discredit the Puritans in American thought. Amongst those who were quick to give a much more honest look at the Puritans was Samuel Eliot Morrison. In his 1930s research, Morrison maintained that the Puritans were largely a much more diverse body of people, with different tastes and attitudes towards life. As Daniels puts it, the doggerel poetry of Michael Wigglesworth which was indeed joyless, was no more representative of Puritanism than was the sensual, loving poetry of Anne Bradstreet, end quote. Also, Morrison's research would point to a liberal availability of alcohol in New England communities, even being used to pay laborers and house raisins. Even amongst their own number, there would be individuals who would fit the mold of seeing an unhappy existence as being equivalent to piety. Charles Cohen, in his review of Robert Middlecoff's The Mathers, would indicate that Cotton Mather himself had seen this attitude particularly among some of the more youthful converts, but that this was in no way indicative of the Puritan community as a whole, and was in fact rather a rather uncommon experience. The New England Primer shows that the Puritans, through the school books they printed for their children, sought to instill a Christian understanding of life, sin, and death from an early age. However, as Puritan scholar Dr. George C. McFarland stated in a 2014 interview, their foundation in all things was the scriptures, which forbade some things specifically, and for others, gave liberty to participate with good balance and good sense." End quote. Now, we will never know for certain if the majority of Puritans actually enjoyed their existence in colonial New England. But the myth that they were legalistic oppressors of anything that they could be called leisure needs to be put to rest. This myth stems from a misunderstanding of Puritan religious convictions and simply does not match the historical record.